Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video on the Blue ZX. If you like car repair videos and you like the idea of what I'm doing with the uh, rebuild of this uh, Blue ZX, um, please consider subscribing because it helps the channel grow. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell icon so you get notified of all my future uploads. So what am I doing today? Well, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll see that I actually was able to pick up the heater matrix core from Euro Car Parts and install that into the blower motor assembly. So today's video will be the blower motor assembly going back in and some wiring going back into the dash and fingers crossed if there's time the actual dash will start going in as well but there's a lot to put in behind there first so all the wire the blower motor assembly has to go in first the wiring has to go in afterwards and then we've got all the air ducting and all the air pipes we've got all the uh, little um, what i call bicycle cables for the uh, mechanisms and the flaps and everything all to work on the uh, blower motor assembly so we've got a lot to do so I think we ought to get cracking, don't you? So we'll do that now. So guys, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll know that I've now managed to get the uh, pedals back in place and what hassle I had with that. I've also put the wiring back on and bolted that back down to the um, top there. What I have done is there is an earthing strip here, just here, an earth wire, which has to go under the carpet and it goes to the point here. This is a bracket that holds the blower motor assembly at the bottom. We've got a hole just in the bulkhead there and a hole bolt in the bulkhead there. I've just poked them through. They have that screw thread go through and that screw thread go through it as well. And that'll be a 10 mil nut on the inside, on the, on the engine bay side. Obviously we've got the heat matrix core in with its uh, outer covers on and its rubber uh, foam backing. I have decided to use this because I haven't been able to get anything else, so it's better than nothing. And we've got these plates to put on in the engine bay to cover that up, obviously. So, and then that will get all screwed up as well. So, um, yeah, we're going to put this in there. I'll put you on the tripod and let you watch me do that. And just like that, guys, it is in. And you're probably thinking, oi, you get, you're supposed to show us putting that in. Well, I would have done but I've decided I'm not going to use the footage of me recording putting all this in because there's no point. I didn't realise, I know my tripod's broken, but I didn't realise my uh, camera decided to go whoops and start having you just staring at the sunroof for the whole time while I was doing it. So maybe you could hear me, but there's no point having that as footage. So um, unfortunately, guys, it is in now, but... And I'm not going to take it back out to re-record, sorry, but um, it is what it is. So what we've got is we have got, like I said, the two 10mm nuts are on the engine bay side. I'll show you them in a second. Um, we've got the wiring all bolted in with a T20 Torx screw going through from this side through to this side to hold that in. We've got a T20 Torx screw holding that there and we've got two just on the end there holding that end bit so now we've got all these wires down here which are going to be plugged into here which i'll do that in a bit this is the uh, radio wiring that i set up that's for the um the fan controllers i've also put this one on which goes around the side and i'll show you how to do them clips in a bit because i've got to put four of them on the um uh on here i've got to put four of them onto here which is the uh back plating of the um heater controls um what else have we got oh yeah um my mess up where i put that earthing wire through underneath the carpet actually means the the iso block for the radio would only reach to about here which is no good so it turns out i've actually got to put the earthing wire round this way and then i can just tuck that under there and just then i can have the uh, iso block reach right up to where the radio is now fair enough i am putting an aftermarket radio in so this doesn't need to plug directly in but if for any reason i wanted to put a standard radio in i'd rather have it where it should be rather than all the way down the bottom there and me having to extend it it's uh much less hassle just to reposition the earth wire the way it needs to go rather than me uh extending all of those so um basically we got a couple of wires here we've got some more put ducked in as well and i was thinking oh no where have i put these parts because there's a part that sort of goes on there 
and there's a part that sort of goes on there. But then I realised when I looked at the dash, because I have pulled the dash out of my van and had a look at it, and the part that goes on there and there is actually part of the dash console, so that's not too much of an issue. We don't need to worry about that. So um, what I'm going to do, I said I'll show you those 10 mils. We'll go and do that, and I'll show you the other side of the dash. So in the engine bay now, we've got this. Uh, this is the other side of the uh, blown motor assembly. That's the 10 mil there done up. That's the 10 mil there done up. And we've got those two with the two screws holding that in. Now, um, the dash console. We've got one air duct at that side with the pipe going to just here. We've then got this. And we've got that one there, but we've got to put the air duct in it ourselves. So we'll do that. And that goes around the steering column and stuff. So um, I think we're going to do some more and I'll record it this time. <laughs> right, so guys, hopefully you don't end up looking at the floor or the ceiling this time. But um, let's sort some of these wires out because these all need to be sorted so they go into their corresponding places. So to start on this side, what we got down here, we've got this one here has got two of those on. So that's for the um, speedo clock. We'll just top them up there for now. We've got this one here, which does the uh, wiper stalk and I believe that, I'm not sure, I believe that does a switch on the trim panel, so they can just tuck up here for now as well. Um, we've then got, no. That one's for the wiper stalk. That one I'm not sure what that's for, but that's obviously this side. These go to the um, buttons beside the clocks, so that can sit up there in the way. At, that's for all, all clocks and clocks around wires up there. So that means... Oh, I've just thought they probably both go over here for that. So we'll work them out later on anyway. So what we've got... We've got, a one, we've got one hiding around the side, around about here, on this um, heater thingy, and that's this plug. So what we're going to do is we're going to just tuck that wire down there. So that can get tucked down there like so. There's actually a clip up here as well somewhere. I'll plug that one in. Yeah, so that's that one done. Um, so what's these ones? So these, yeah, these ones are dash clocks as well because there's five in total. There's three on this side and two on the other side so they can go through there for now as well um, these ones are okay so these are the two radio ISO blocks that's the um, the uh, auxiliary socket so what we've got here that one I'm not too sure of just yet so we'll leave that one there ah that one's for my little switch panel but I don't think that's doing anything so I might not be putting that one back in I don't know what that one's for. That's for the um, centre clock. Or is it? Yeah, I believe that's for the centre clock. So what we'll do is we'll just tuck that up there in that little hole for now. Um, we've got these two here, which I'm just going to tuck over here. These, are, these two are for the wipe of the indicator stock. And then there's this red plug as well, which plugs into the... Uh, airbag wiring just there like so there's a little clip there for that so that's that and then we'll just okay we won't tuck that over because there's an earth wire so what we'll do is we'll pull that back out I'll do that in a moment right so that's that, that's that. Um, not entirely sure where these wires go but just trying to think, is there anything else? No, one minute. One minute. So we've got those two there, those three, four, five. Yeah, there's switches on the other side as well. So actually, these ones are to do with the switches on the other side. And so based on that, they can stay up here as well for now. Um, that's pretty much it then. Okay, so that's that. 
that's obviously a switch wire as well. Might some of them go in and some of them don't, I'm guessing. Right, so let's... Uh, I think what we'll do is put them plugs at the other side together. All these plugs here need to be plugged into this little lot here, and this should technically be paint by numbers. And um, paint by colours, sorry. Because they should literally just plug in and get comfortable. Which is a bit awkward because there's no seat in. But um so yeah, it's a case of what plugs in where and what doesn't elsewhere sort of thing. So um Let's see what we got. So we've got this big brown one here. I'm guessing that goes into there like so. I'll pull the foam off a bit more. Like so. Now let's have a look. We've got the big white one here. No. Can't be that. Uh, black one. To there, yep. So where's all these other wires go? Uh, two prong. There's that one, which is two prong. Ah, oh, that, that goes into there. And then we've then got this one. which goes into there. Tried that a minute ago, I'm sure I did, and it didn't go, but I don't know. Right, so now we've got another brown one, which is there. Right, so that's all those plugged in, but we have three plugs left. So I'm not entirely sure what they're for just yet because there is no other wiring for, um, behind this so maybe they're just ones that weren't used because no these are these two plugs and this are all too small in the wrong style for anything else to plug into and fair enough maybe no yeah that would plug into there but the problem is that doesn't go in there so ignore that because what that actually does is it goes into goes into there for that so that's that. So yeah, I reckon these are just plugs that are not being used for anything because I can't think of anything else where they need to go. So I'm going to put them back up there somehow, out the way. Um, yeah, so I think what we're going to do is put some ducting in and um, bring the dash console in, I think. That's the next step. So uh, before I bring the dash in, I just thought I'd update you guys on these plugs. There was this one that I didn't have a thing to plug into. There was this little two-prong one, which I didn't have anything to plug into. And then this black one just here. But what I forgot about was I forgot about this wire really leading up to the um, sunroof. So that sunroof wire plugs into there. And um, also off of that sunroof, we've got this. I'm not entirely sure where this goes as of yet. But um, hopefully it will come to light soon. And obviously I'm not too sure where that plugs to, if anything. And I'm not too sure where that plugs to, if anything. But there, I know there is some plugs that didn't have anything plugged in. Because obviously this car comes with different variations. For instance, that could potentially be a plug for an electric mirror, for instance. But my car doesn't have an electric mirror. So that's where I'm thinking that could be like a plug where an electric mirror goes into and then same thing on the other side could be that situation as well. So, but that's something I'm going to look into. So we'll work that out at some point. So, but anyway, let's get this dash console in because um, I'm sure you're all eager to see that go in. So I'll put you on the stand again now. So guys, let's get this dash console in. This will be fun. Yeah, I reckon this is going to be quite fun, to be honest. Oh, 
fun. We'll go over the top there. Oh, I don't want to break that wire. So that's that. Where's the clock's wire gone? The clock wire needs to go up there. Come on, be not play nice. And she's in. I had one on this side, that's four in total, that's right. So that's that. And we've got all these wires up here, which we'll sort out in a little while when we put the clocks on. So I'm gonna screw it all down and then I'll bring you back and show you what we've done so far. So just to finish this video off guys, I have put some of the screws in. There was a T30 on both sides in that location. I've done all the um, 10 mil, uh, I'll show you actually. I've done all the 10 mil nuts on the inside of the bonnet area. One, two, and three. There is still some screws down the bottom that I need to do to hold the ducting in place. There's some screws just in there that I need to do, but I've run the wire for the clock. I've got to tidy them uh, wires up down there a bit by just, uh, just probably going to cable tie them up out the way for now. But, um, I think the last piece of the puzzle that we're going to do for this video is pop the uh, speedo clocks and uh, the clocks surrounding. I think that'll be pretty much the finishing of this video. So I'll put you back on the tripod again and we'll do that. So guys, to put these clocks in, um, we've got one, two, three, four, five P points to go on to. And we've got one, two, three four five now what i have noticed is every single one is uh, a slightly different size it's like there's two four six eight ten on that one two four six eight nine on that one two four six seven on that one two four six on that one and two four six eight on that one so every single one has a different size pin so it is a case of wherever they fit they fit but these two are going to be over this side for obvious reasons and these three are going to be over this side for obvious reasons so it is just a case of just plug it in push it into there and done so let's get plugging in so we've got that one into there first actually what i'll do is i'll show you these first i'll show you these side because i can actually probably show you these so that won't go in there, look. But maybe the blue one will? No, that won't. So that means third time lucky. Green one goes into there, just like so. And it clips on. And then that little clip there holds it in place. I'm probably not going to be able to show you any more because it doesn't quite reach. So I'm going to kind of have to half be in there and plug them in over the top, like so. Says. So that one now goes into there, like so. That one now goes into there, like so. And we've then got the yellow one on there, I'm guessing. Yep. And then the brown one, brown one, and final one on there. Now that will just slot nice and neatly into its home, like so. And now we've got these wires still accessible around the side, these wires still accessible. We've got four T20 torque screws extension small ratchet don't need the 10 mil on there so let's just go and pop this
into there. And I'm dropping a screw. I'm not doing very well with this, guys. I keep dropping the screws. And just like that, we've now got our clocks back in. So we're now gonna do the surround piece, which two of these plugs, which I'm guessing will be these two. So I'll just drop these. Again, like I said, these plugs are actually not used, but they could potentially be for uh, electric mirrors or something like that, that I haven't got features for on this car. And there's these two as well. So, <clears throat> Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what plug does what. So there's eight on there. and Oh, this side's easy because there's eight pins on there and there's only uh, five on there. So that side's easy. This one's got five and five. But I suppose it's front fog lights, rear fog lights. So worst case scenario, I get them wrong and I can just swap them back. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure on that one. Um, let's have a look and see what we've got. So we've got, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to take a gamble and guess that the yellow one goes at the bottom and the blue one goes at the top. Could be wrong, but like I said, it's front fog lights, rear fog lights. The worst that's going to happen is I'm going to put the front fog lights on and the rear ones will come on. That's the worst that's going to happen. So then I'll just swap them around. So I'll do that later on if I need to. That's that. And then this side, like I said, is easy because I've got eight and five. So eight will be the top one and five will be the bottom one. Now just uh, pop that into place. And we need... Okay then. Those T20s I've put in there, don't go in there, they go through the whole lot. And just like that guys that's done so guys that's uh this video finished here i'm afraid um because i'm starting to feel a little bit shaky i've been a bit naughty and not had anything to eat all day today because i've just been cracking on with doing bits and pieces but that's all right as you can see majority of the dashboards in there's a few little screws here and there to do we've got to put all the heater controls in um so that'll be in the next video, which will be out on Monday. Yeah, that, the next video will be out on Monday. Um, so come back if you want to finish, see me finish this off, basically. But for now, guys, if you like my content, chuck us a thumbs up. If you uh, sub Please subscribe, because it helps the channel grow immensely. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell icon so you get notified of all my future uploads. Also, if you want to know what I get up to throughout the day before it hits live on YouTube, you can head over to my Instagram page and you get daily sneak peeks on there before it comes live on YouTube. But for now, guys, I'm going to go indoors and have my dinner. 
Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Hello.